What's up everyone, I'm Andrew and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add an event calendar to your WordPress website so that you can display your events on a calendar and also your users can add their favorite events to their Google or other popular service calendars. So let's get started. So here I have this Crypto Academy website which is from one of our tutorials and here we are just going to add a calendar so that we can display our events and people People can search and find their favorite events and add them to their Google Calendar. So basically we are going to install a plugin which is going to help us create these calendars. So I just bring my admin panel and plugins and add new and we search for event calendar. So this is the plugin that we are going to use. It's a very good plugin. I really recommend you use it for your website. So we are just going to install it. So now we can just activate it. So I'm just going to click skip here for the invitation. So now we have this event section, which is going to help us create our calendar. So here, as you can see, we have events. So this is a custom post type that allows you to add your own event. So let's just add one to see what we have. So because this is a custom post type, we have the same familiar editor here. So I can just add my title. So let's just call it the Bitcoin meeting and then you can just have your description here let's just copy this and just paste it a few times so as a dummy text here so we have the description then we have the date and time so we have a start and end. Then if your event is all day long, you just have to check this all day event and you only have to enter the start time and end time. So that's it. But if you want to enter the hour, you can just do it. So for example, we have this event from 8 to 5 p.m. So uh, we have the date. It can be a few days or a whole month. So you have, you can just enter your event here. Then we have the information for the location. I'm not going to add this information but basically you can just select the country city address venue name so you can just fill this information here and also the website so if you are showing events from other websites then you can just do it you can show it on the map and show a link so that's very cool here we we have the website and we have the cost so you can have cost for your events and excerpt so that's very cool here and also we have this featured image so i'm just going to add a featured image for this event and you can also set it as a feature event which is going to just highlight it as a feature event or we can just make it a sticky in the month or hide it from event listing so you have these options here you also have access to categories which are already useful for structuring your events so here i'm just going to call it education but you can just have anything you want and you can also set the parent category here. I'm just going to add this one and just publish my event. So now we do have our event here. And as you can see, we have a permalink. So that's very nice. You can just use this link anywhere. You can just send it to someone. And as you can see, we have the featured image. We have the description. We have the details. Now we didn't fill much detail here. If you add more, you will see more here. And we also have these add to calendar. So it allows people to easily add it to their Google or iCalendar or Outlook. So the favorite calendars are just available here. That's a very cool. And then you want to, of course, display these events on your website. You can add events here and add tags and categories. So we only have one category here. You can add your venues here so that we can just use them in multiple events. You can add organizer here or import events. So very cool stuff here. But the question is, how are we going to display these events? It's very easy. So basically, I'm just going to bring my front page. And before adding it to the front page, you can see that we have this events page. So this events page, which is the URL of slash events, is going to show all of your events and allow people to search events, add them to their calendar. So that's very nice. They can also see the month, which is going to show the events on an actual calendar. So 
we can just use this page anywhere we want. So this is what we are going to do here. So I'm basically copying this URL so that we can use it in our page builder. But this plugin also comes with its own Gutenberg block. So here I'm just going to click on edit with Elementor. And we are going to add a new section here for our events. So let's just give it a white background here so that's more visible. So here in the background, I'm just going to select classic and then a simple solid white color. Then I'm just going to add a heading to it. For example, let's just add it here and call it our events. like this and now we can just add our events so basically we have a gutenberg block here so here from wordpress you can see that we have this event list which is going to list my events so i just have to add it to this column so let's just remove this uh bring this to the column and remove this section so we have our events here. It's displaying your events here and we have some settings. So it's actually showing the five recent events here. So this is what you want to do on your front page. You cannot add all the events here, but we want to have a link to display the actual calendar and the list of all events. So we can just add a button here. So let's just search for a button. And we can just give it the URL and for the for the text we are just going to type view all events so we have this button here let's just style it a little So we have this view all events here, but we can also put our categories here. So we can just create some cards which can link to our categories. So this is something very nice you can do. So basically we have to add a new section here. And because we want to stay within this section, I'm just going to add the inner section like this. And now we have two columns here and we can just start adding the events. So basically we want to have a title for the category so for example educational and i'm just going to center it and style it a little so we can just add a background here so i can just select my column and bring a style and background and we can just Add a classic image here and center it and make it covers like this and we want to also give it some padding here so I can just bring this padding and let's just set it to percent and give it some padding here and also one EM margin like this now we also want to add a background overlay here and this is just for stylic purposes so I can just add background overlay and gradient. So this is nice. Now we want to make it link to the actual educational or education category. So what I have to do is to just click on this event because this is from our education category. So I have the link to this education category. And uh, this is the link to this category. We only have one event here, but I can just copy the whole URL and just paste it as a link. So I can just select my column and paste it here as a column link. Now by, by default and out of the box, Elementor does not have this column link field, so you don't get it. And I have just installed an additional plugin that is giving me this feature. I just put the link in the description so that you can just use it. But when you have it, you can just have column links. Now out of the box, you can have links for your images or for your text. So you can select this text and give it a link, but I want the whole column to be clickable. So I have just installed this plugin and now I can just enter my link and update. Also, I'm just going to give it some 
border radius here to make it match our whole style here so something like this and also a hover effect so for the background overlay i'm just going to spring hover and apply a css filter which will just increase the saturation when i hover over it like this so we have this effect here and now i can just duplicate this column as much as i want so let's just remove this empty column and now i have three of them here and i can just change the style or image so for my other categories so we can have your categories and also we can just simply change the gradient like this so that's cool now if i update here and just visit my front page now as you can see we have our events here showing my latest five events here we have view all events button and we also can have our categories so i only have added one category here but basically you get the idea so we have this nice cards here and you can just people can just click on them and visit the whole category but if you do not have so many events you can just remove categories and stick to this our events and view all so that's it everyone thanks for watching if you like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more wordpress content and like always you can reach our team from the link in the description